share with your friends and in this video in the shortest possible time and in the most simplest of language i will try to try to explain you the green shoe option which is used in the initial public offering of any particular country now friends uh, we all know about initial public offering if you don't know about it just go and uh, know about it by searching on the internet in short i can tell you that initial public offering is that process by which a company issues some of its shares in the market which the people will purchase and obviously if the people will purchase those shares and the people will pay for those shares and that money will go to the company and that company will use that money for its infrastructure development and other developmental needs so this is basically an ipo where shares of a particular company are traded in the primary market and obviously from that money company carries on its developmental activities now here comes that uh, what happens in an ipo there are three parties involved in the ipo friends first party is the issuer of the uh, of the shares for example if a particular company is issuing a share then he is the issuer the company who is issuing the share there is one party second party one who is buying the shares okay now the buying the shares can be many people it can be individual customers retail customers it can be you know a company or an ngo or a you know a big uh, anyone buyers can include anything so this is the second component and the third party which is involved in an ipo is the underwriters what are underwriter friends underwriters are those entities friends which you know guarantee that this pub initial public offering will be successful these are big banks big conglomerates with business banks you know which take this underwriting for example uh, suppose a company a is selling its shares c is the group of people who are going to purchase their shares and uh, b is the a is selling c is purchasing and b is in between the underwriter who is making this process happen so the this green shoe option is exercised by the underwriters now why this is called as a green shoe option there was a friend named as green shoe manufacturing company which is presently known as stride right corporation this company was founded in 1919 and at that point of time it included this green shoe option in their initial public offering so therefore it is known as green shoe option now what is this green shoe option this green shoe option i i am going to explain to you friends in with an example this will be very much helpful to you suppose that uh, if a company is issuing 100000 shares 100000 shares okay and an underwriter is guaranteeing that i am going to make sure that these 100000 shares of yours are going to sell on the stock market so this thing so underwriter has you know pledged that 100000 shares will be there the issuer of the shares is saying that i am going to sell 100000 shares and there will be people who are going to purchase it now there are people who are going to purchase it now friends what will happen this uh, what is the you know what is the benefit to this underwriter who is acting as a you know, middle agent in this whole process the benefit to the underwriter is that underwriter is going to get some commission of this whole process that is some commission of the whole ipo initial public offering so some amount the underwriter has been fixed that underwriting is going to get that uh, amount so underwriting is going on this process now what happens in the green shoe options that underwriter has the authority to sell 15 percent extra shares now what happens in this friends normally what happens is that 100,000 shares have been given by the company to the underwriter to be sold on the shares market and in this green shoe option what happens that maximum 15 up to 15 percent of the shares that is that underwriter borrows 15,000 shares what is 15 percent of 100,000 it becomes 15,000 so 100,000 the company that is the issuer is going to the underwriter to sell on the uh, stock exchange and that underwriter is borrowing 15,000 shares from the uh, you know issuer and that is also being sold on the stock exchange so in effect how many shares are being sold on the stock exchange 1 lakh 50 thousand shares okay 115 thousand shares will be sold on the stock exchange now what will be the meaning of these shares for the people who are purchasing it that is the investors that is the people who are purchasing the shares for them there will be no difference between the shares that the company is issuing and what the underwriting is borrower underwriter is borrowing from the issuer okay so uh, does it doesn't matter for the investor whether he is buying from those 100,000 or whether he is buying from the 15,000 it doesn't matter to the investor investor when gets a share it gets a share okay so effectively 115,000 shares are being sold in the IPO and people are purchasing 115,000 shares now what happens friends the green shoe option and the work of the writer that the work of the underwriter comes after the shares have already been stored on the stock exchange for example suppose that if issue price of this share 
at the stock market was five dollar each suppose it was five dollar each so now five dollar each now what happens that if this share becomes overpriced if this share becomes overpriced suppose now this share is being sold for six dollars now obviously it was being issued for five dollars and now it is selling for six dollars so if it is selling for six dollars on the stock exchange obviously the company which is issuing the share is very would be very happy that their uh, you know their shares are being sold at a higher prices it will be good for the underwriter also it will be good for the issuing company also but what will happen if the price of the share goes down for example the issuing price was five dollar and now suppose after issuing on the stock market that share is trading not for five dollars below five dollars that is below its issue price suppose it is being sold for four dollars so its issue price was five dollars and now it is being sold for four dollars what will happen now friends so the happiness is this thing is like that for uh, 115,000 shares were sold on the uh, ipo 100,000 were issued directly by the issuer to the underwriter and underwriter has borrowed 15,000 shares from the issuer so the amount which the underwriter gets for those 15,000 shares that will not go into the bank account of the issuer it will go into an escrow account into a separate account and suppose after the initial public offering suppose if the issue price was for five dollar and now the share is underpriced that is suppose that it is being you know getting sold in the market for four dollars that is now its market price is four dollars below its issue price then what will happen then the principle of demand and supply will come in play then what the underwriter will do underwriter is going to take out the money from this escrow amount which was obtained by selling those fifteen thousand dollars it will take that amount out and by that amount it is going to purchase the shares from the market why this is happening friends now a simple rule of demand and supply is coming here you know friends that uh, when the you know obviously in the stock market the sentiment is the most important if the price of a particular stock is coming down what the people will uh, do they are going to sell the shares so if the share was issued at a issue price of five dollar and now in the market is trading for four dollars so what the other people will think that they are getting losses so they will start selling their shares so in order to arrest that sell what the underwriter will do that it will take out the amount which is being deposited in that escrow amount what amount was de uh, deposited in that escrow amount in that escrow account in that escrow account that amount was deposited which was obtained by selling those 15,000 shares which the underwriter has borrowed from the issuer so obviously by this what will happen that is that underwriting is pumping the money in that uh, in that particular share so if the money is being pumped in a particular share then obviously the demand of that particular share will increase and if the demand of that particular share will increase obviously the market price of that particular share will also increase so this is basically a sort of price stabilization mechanism that is if the issue price is being shot down that is if the market price is getting lower than the issue price then this green sheet option is being exercised by the underwriter by using the amount which is kept in the escrow account to arrest the downfall of the price of that particular share so this is basically a price stabilization mechanism which is being used by the underwriters in this initial public offering and there is one more point that if those 15,000 uh, friends these 15,000 shares were being borrowed uh, by the underwriter from the uh, this issuer now what happens that if these 15,000 shares suppose the issuer says that give me those 15,000 shares back this may happen that uh, now uh, suppose if the price overshoots I have told you the case when the market price comes below the issue price that case I've already told you what the underwriter is going to do suppose 100,000 shares were issued and the company which was being issued uh, the underwriter borrowed 15,000 shares for that particular company okay now the in the issue in the initial public offering the the shares were being sold for five dollar each and now suppose that the price of this uh, you know shares have gone up suppose it is become six dollars now so in this case there are a straight profit of 20 percent to the issuer so what can issuer can say to the underwriter that give my 15,000 shares back now in that case for giving those 15,000 shares back to the company obviously the underwriter has to purchase those shares from the market now the issue price was five dollar but in the market they are trading for six dollar so now the underwriter has to purchase those fifteen thousand shares for six dollar each but uh, check it friends at this point of time the underwriter has an advantage that is 
if the price market price becomes higher than the issue price then also the 15% of the shares which the underwriter has borrowed from the issuer that underwriter has the authority to purchase back those borrowed share at the issue price only not at the increased market price so this is a safeguard for the underwriter so this is the way i am telling you friends that what will happen if the market price of the share goes below the issue price if the market price goes below the issue price what will happen that the underwriter will use the money lying in the escrow account to stabilize the price of the share so that further downfall of the price doesn't happen and if the prices go up then also the issuer cannot illegally demand from the underwriter that give me back my shares because in that case if the issuer is asking for 15,000 shares back from the underwriter at the market price then the underwriter will show the written clause to the issuer and say that now these 15,000 shares I can purchase from the market back at the issue price only and not at the market price. So this is the safeguard. This is the green shoe option, friends. I hope this green shoe option was very much clear to you. If you have any doubts relating to this green shoe option, kindly ask me in the comment section below. Have a very, very nice friends. And if you like this video, please don't forget to click the subscribe button. Have a nice day.